I want to tell you guys a story. It's a story about how one person's ever-growing guilt caused him to become something that no one, not even me, could imagine. However, before I tell you that story, I need to tell you this first. This isn't my story. This isn't a story that I created, nor is it one that I have visualized. No, 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 no. This is Radiation's story that I wish to tell you. This is Radiation, otherwise known as Toby Fox. You may know him as the creator of Undertale and Deltarune, and a big inspiration for those games was Earthbound. Long before creating Undertale, Toby Fox had made a few Earthbound ROM hanks and shared them online, one of them which is typically referred to as the Radiation Halloween hack, which is what I'll be playing today. Which comes back to the story, Toby's story, Radiation's story. The story I wish to retell you guys. This is Radiation's Halloween hack. This story takes place months after the fall of Gygus. Unfortunately, this takes place in an alternate timeline, one where the children never returned. Although the world knows about the defeat of Gygus and those who took them down, no one has or will see the young, brave kids who defeated him, as they are lost forever in the past with no way, no hope of returning to the present. Some people have moved on, forgetting the names of the young ones who sacrificed their lives and continue on with their lives as if nothing happened. Others do not and have been lamenting the loss of their friends and of their family. However, this story begins with a new main character, Varric, a bounty hunter with no psychic abilities but rather magic spells and his adventure begins in the lovely wonderful city of Tucson. Everything looks fine from the looks of it. Okay. I don't know if... I don't know if there's supposed to be a sprite of him sleeping instead of just walking. Alright, analog can't be used. Once again, just like in Mother 3, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot use the analog stick. Oh my god, this actually feels... Worse. Beric. Beric. Wake up, bounty hunter. Get up off the floor, idiot. Whatever you're dreaming about probably isn't even real. Just get up. Really? I have no idea what you're doing. This isn't where you're. Oh, jeez. Beric. This isn't a joke. Wake up or I'll call the cops. I want to have to drag you out over all this puke. Jesus. What? It's a dream or something? See, uh, I had to drag you all the way out here. Try not, off, try not to fall asleep drunk in the middle of the show, okay? With all that armor you weigh, jeez! That being said, uh, the manager wants a word with you. It's over in that room to the left, which are... It's the one behind me, so just go straight. Sorry, just be more careful, Varric. Try not to get in trouble with the boss. After equipping some armor that was already in my inventory, I went to go talk with the boss, and little did I know, was he gonna be somebody who I've already met before. What's good, G? Hey, hey, hey! I'm X Mayor, BH Perkle of Annette. Perkle? What is he doing here? No, no, I'm not here to get you in trouble. You're a pretty popular guy, what's your face? Ever since you drifted into town like some straddling cowboy, People have been flocking to my show for a chance to see you. I don't know where you came from, and it doesn't really matter. No, what I have to tell you is really important. People are terrified. They need a hero. A girl's parents. They were found dead in their own home. Parts of them, anyway. The girl says she saw some horrible creature break the window and lurch inside. Saw it slowly dagger into her parents room she sat there petrified silent fearful for her very life 
Through her door, she saw the monster grab her parents, tear them apart, shove their innards down its throat, and scream hungrily, its mouth drenched in blood. Jesus, Toby, what is... What is this, like, gore fiction that I'm reading here? What the actual fuck? Crime scenes report reports have returned nothing conclusive. Scabby footprints led officials back to the long sewer pipe that connects to Foggy Land. They've deducted that the creature came from Winters. The towns reinforced their manhole covers, put on a curfew. For the most part, life's getting back to normal. Everyone figures that they're not as lucky as the Rosemary's. Nobody wants to worry about getting eaten live. Catch my drift? But boy was it shocking. Where did that monster come from? Are there more of them? Look kid, you look like a hero, you smell like a hero. Everyone can just tell that sort of thing. Go find where that monster came from and kill it. It's not a request, it's a demand. Ignore it if you want, but the blood of innocence will be on your hands. Here's the key. <laughs> My god. What the fuck did I just read? You know they're talking about Paula. 100%. He is talking about Paula because there's no other residence in Tucson where we know like their parents and shit. When I was recording, I was under the impression that only Ness was the one who did not come back from the past. Little did I know, that applied to literally everyone. Now, I could show you what I did around Tucson, which was just talking to a lot of other people. However, that literally took me forever to talk with everybody. So, I'll just leave in some little clippets of people who I've talked to that were actually funny and whatnot. But other than that, I'm just going to have to edit out a bunch of what I saw and what I read. Because, ooh boy, are there a lot of people here. Sign reads Tucson Sewers. Sewers seem to have been, acc have been accidentally been left unlocked. You step right in, not a wasting a moment. Wait a minute, no, that's not what I wanted to do. As you descend into the dank, dark underbelly of the inner sewers, the brilliant, brilliantly lighted reds and yellows of two suns are exchanged. Seedy browns and the gnarly scent of rotten water. Ahead of you lies the roaring dark, echoing and yearning for your company. The light of the town cries behind you for forgiveness. A sickly, warm breeze like the breath of some terrible fiend wafts across your face, forming a deep pit at the bottom of your stomach. You have a bad feeling. Can I, like, not... Woof, 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 woof. Okay, screw it. I'm not talking to non-psychics. Evergen wasn't such a bad guy after all. It's been a few months, so don't chastise me. But in retrospect, I really wouldn't want any other crime lord r running this park. What other crime lord is running the park then? Really? This is the greatest Mexican stereotype costume ever. Which one of the brothers are you? Hell yes, Mexicans! Oh, are you kidding me? Red banana, your yellow yearnings will not be your fr That's sad! What the hell, Toby? I took a glorious bite out of one of my beautiful eggs, only to realize that there were pieces of chicken inside. Oh no, I can't go on selling these anymore. Maybe I'll sell carpets. They're cultured and beautiful, necessary for anyone growing up. I don't know the nutritional value though. God damn it, there goes my one way of farming money. Shit. Oh, really? Frankenstein? Oh, at least I get to listen to this kick ass music again. Spells. One damage. Cool. I swear to God, if his. Okay, for a minute I was like, if his offense just goes up by one and starts doing like fucking 10 damage to me, I'll lose it. Spooky! <laughs> I wanted to dress up as a Mexican, but someone beat me to it. Also, it's incredibly offensive to Mexicans. And no, 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 I'm a Mexican-American, alright? And I don't even find that offensive at all. That's actually pretty funny. 
I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. I was really homesick recently and my mom cheered me up. Yeah, I have an Oedipus complex. Also, your mom's j- <laughs> no. uh, I hate Halloween. I have to buy like 800 candies for stupid kids and they suck. I wish they would all die. I am five years old, by the way. <laughs> okay, okay. That took me a while to read, but okay. I'm not selling things to customers that stare at my butt like that. What are you doing? It's like you're staring right through my body backwards with your peripheral vision. Reverse pervert. What the fuck? What? What? I'm just... I'm looking straight at your eyes! Not at your... Behind! What the fuck? Hey, do you celebrate Halloween? No? You must be Jewish! <laughs> In that case, happy Ramadan! <laughs> Allah. For a young person, she did something really brave. Young people don't deserve to die. And she looked so cute with... What was his name? Barrick? I don't think so. Damn, people already forgot about the Ness. Sag. Can I, get a, can I get my bike? Can I get my bike? Too bad some kid took our last bike. All those other bikes are there for show. Sure. Why? <laughs> Why can't I have the bike? Oh, this is what I get for never returning the bike back. Welcome! Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Well, not to give you a bad impression, but there's a terrifying murder. People all over the town have been scared to death. Although, most going outside are too oblivious to show it. On the upside, the legendary hero that saved us from Gygus, Paula, was raised here. She really made this town famous, tee <laughs> What about you? Are you a hero? Tee <laughs> I don't know how you can look at me with those eyes and tell me all that shit. Jesus Christ, lady. Alright, Buck, are you gonna give me the money again? The kid I gave $50 to ended up saving the world. Next time a bum asks me for money, maybe I give him 40 bucks. He'll figure out a way to cure cancer or something. Well, at least he acknowledges. That uh, Ness got 50 bucks out of him. But I want the 50 dollars from me! For Varric! What the hell? We got a little zombie over here. I'll take care of this. Pseudo zombie. Alright, so we have bash spells, goods, defend, loser, and free. What is. I'm very tempted to see what loser does, but I don't really have much things that can, um. Heal me, so I'd rather not. So when I first came to recording this, I came in with two things in mind. One, there will be a lot of vulgar language, and that much has already been shown. Two, it was supposed to be hard as balls. However, I was not prepared for what was to come next. What the fuck? What? Uh, uh... LOSER! Shit. Uh, what was that? 30 HP from one hit! Varric! Looks like you're having a bad dream. You're Varric. Wake up! Damn it! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna use the powers of space and time, but... Fuck! I just lost $10, didn't I? I did. Jesus Christ, that actually kind of scared me a bit. <laughs> I don't want to deal with another zombie right now. I don't want to lose what little money I have left. Of the $20 that I started off with, I'm now down to 10 and I haven't spent a single dollar on anything. Hmm, wait a minute. Haven't you beaten this game already? If you're a pro, I'm not going to waste my time on you. All right, bucko. Be like that. Don't give me a hint, then. Your hints are garbage. Cool. I a fucking ruler, really. A fucking ruler. Like that's gonna help me anything at all. I heard Apple Kids dressing up as a tomato for Halloween. How uncreative. 
That dreamy orange kid is dressing up as a tangerine. What? You think it's unoriginal? No, no! It's meta! He's so avant grand guard. Whatever, I cannot fucking speak French. Salutations, peasant! Whew! You smell almost worse than Apple Kid! In any case, I'm Orange Kid, the amazing inventor. Although you can call me Tangerine Kid, if you couldn't tell from my amazing costume. <laughs> On Halloween night, I'm gonna try to pick up some sweet things! Not really talking about candy either. Anyway, you smell a little funny, but that's a great costume you got there yourself. If you're hanging around here, maybe we could hang out. <laughs> uh, no. What are Apple Kids up to? A mess, as always. What? I don't have any tomatoes. All I have is this really bad gut feeling. It's not from anything I've eaten. After me and Dr. Andonuts invented a phase disorder, and the kids went back in time to sacrifice themselves against Gygus, I got this awful feeling in the pit of my stomach. Of course, not that I just feel guilty sending them back in time. Statistically, it was the right thing for us to do, but I haven't seen the doctor ever since we got the bad news. Where could he be? Yeah, Doc hasn't been seen around, huh? Ah, oh, fucking disgusting, bro. Dog, come on. I'll beat up Gygus all by herself. That glasses wearing punk tagging along? Dead weight. I bet she's vacationing on some sunny beach wearing sex pajamas. A swimsuit. Dog, may I, need, may I remind you, she's a kid. I'm pretty sure she's not even 10 years old. I am pretty sure she's she hasn't even cracked double digits in her age. I don't think you should be talking about people like her like that. Paula was like a mother to me. I regret her infinite absence, but we must go on. I may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. That does not mean I cannot be an astronaut for Halloween, however. Whoosh! Whistle, whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. Paula's mother, I'm busy taking care of these kids. Huh? No, I'm not worried. She's our guardian angel watching over us. Okay, so Paula's parents aren't dead. Glad to hear that. So I guess my theory is wrong. So whose parents were fucking massacred then? Hi. I'm Paula's father, or rather, uh, I was. She and her friends, brave brave fool that they were, went back in time to combat the ultimate evil Gygus. Needless to say, they never returned. Everyone else has moved on, and I'm trying my best, but sometimes I still find myself in tears at the sacrifice we made. Never again will we share another piece of apple pie. Never again will I see her smiling with that kid at her arm and tell him to sleep on the couch. If I had been with that stupid doctor, I would have gone back in time myself. Gygus can't resist my baking prowess. But I know only she could defeat him. It was for the best. Oh my. What am I doing pouring my heart out to a complete stranger? Please leave at once. Damn. So nobody survived. I thought it was only Ness, but shit. Teddy bear! Oh. Oh, I don't know if I should actually take this or not. <laughs> I actually don't know if it's I don't know if I don't know if it's in my moral interest to take the teddy bear or not. But since I have it, might as well. I mean, you never know when this teddy bear might come in useful. Especially if there's another fucking zombie nearby that fucking takes away all my goddamn HP. Afterwards, I thought it'd be interesting for me to see if I could reach on net. Because I had already talked with some of the townsfolk, some of them already told me that the ghosts were back in 3 and I completely forgot about the Happy Happy Village, but I was like, you know what, let's see if I can reach on that, and, well, let this interaction tell you how that went. Hey, look at that, old friends. Super Doomstrom? Dog, what the actual fuck?! Oh my! Really? You were kidding! This is difficult!
sprinkle those balls. I just wanted to go to our net. What the hell? What the actual hell? Uh, at least I still have the teddy bear with me. Alright, uh, you know what? Fuck this. I I'm going down here to the sewers. Fuck, I'm at $5. I lost $15. Come on now. Alright, I'm here in the sewers. What do you want me to do here? Damn it, you really want me to go in the water again. There's a garbage can lid. Ooh, what does it do? Oh, so... <laughs> Would you look at that? I'll take it! Now, I ask of you, my good sir, please do not kill me right away. I beg of you. I'm just a bounty hunter. Jesus, that teddy bear is almost dead. I'm kind of glad I have the teddy bear now or else I would have been dead right away. I have the teddy bear. Why are you hitting me? Hit the teddy bear. I mean, don't hit the teddy bear. I'd rather you miss all your attacks than hit me or it. I leveled up. Let's go. Sleep stun alpha. What is that? Puts one enemy to sleep. God, sleep stun alpha. It sounds like the fucking greatest. I don't know if I, I don't know if this is a good idea for me attacking these racks. Violent vermin, because I know, before you know it, <laughs> they're going to smash attack me. It's going to be all over. Please, don't hit me. Please, don't hit me. Please die. Okay, it's really awful. Clearly, it doesn't have have good vision. I am right in front of it. Fuck me! Uh, get rid of the vermin! Get rid of the vermin! Get rid of the vermin! I don't want to fight more than one enemy. Get rid of it! Not the teddy bear! Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I should have done what the strategy guide said. I should have just fucked off. All right, please, kill it, kill it, kill the vermin, kill the vermin, kill the vermin, damn you! Oh! Fuck. Why does he get to attack first? Dickhead! Oh my god, Varric, you useless fuck! I'm gonna lose all my money again! Fuck fucking time, and now he's gonna attack me. Yep. Varric! <laughs> oh, this, this is what, the third fucking time I lost already? Fuck, I do not have much money, and I'm losing. I don't even have any fucking BSI points. Or magic points, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Power points, whatnot. I can't use any spell at all. Shit, 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 shit. No, no. Please, for the love of God, I don't want to fight another fucking zombie. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Do I really have to grind out in the sewers? I don't even know how much money I have. Really love it if, you know, I could... Upgrade some of my equipment if I had like eighty dollars right right now. Please, please, Mister ATM Machine. I need dinero. I have lost seventeen dollars. Sixty-two. Oh, come on. 
Oh, this is brutal. It's actually fucking brutal. All right, hippie. Down here. Obsessive recycler. And you don't even have the hippie song. Come on now. <laughs> They're still utterly futile. Oh, hey, hey, hey! No continuous attack, please. Come on, dog. This fuck off. Thank you, thank you. How the fuck am I supposed to heal up? How am I actually supposed to heal up? I don't want to waste any of my money on healing items. Why did two of them show up? All right, I'm fleeing. Eventually, I did get the $80 to invest in a new weapon. And not only did I invest in a new weapon, but there is also this little item that the shop seller was also selling called a monster book. And it had something very interesting written on it. It's a copy of an ancient tomb tattered and yellowed with age. Runes on the pages are undecipherable and make your head spin just read. However, you get a deepest feeling in the back of the book of your head about what they're saying. Non-living foes can easily be stopped in time due to their lack of resistance. Living enemies are easily put to sleep as their will is easily dominated. Undead enemies are susceptible to light and are easily blinded. That's all you can understand. Otherwise, the script is worthless. Okay, okay, it's not as useless as it comes out to as it comes out to say. Four dollars though, that's that's kind of pricey. At the state that I am right that I am in right now, four dollars is pretty pricey. After clipping through a wall and finding one of the most underwhelming enemies known to man, my curiosity got the best of me, and I was like, maybe I can try reaching on that this time. That went as well as you expected to be. No, no, no. You can fuck right off. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, you stupid mushroom. Good, you're not there anymore. Shit, there's more mushroom. There's more fungi there. There's even more fungi! Get out of the way! Thank you. The black helmet inside. I'll take it. No, 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 no! Leave, 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 leave! Damn it, Beric! Damn it! <laughs> Come on! Come on, dude! And the San Francisco shock loss to the Dallas Heel. How could this day get any worse? All right, you know what? It's fucking impossible for me to get to Annette. I, I died like three fucking times already. And it's all because of these blue Antoids. I can't see their sprite in the dark. It's fucking midnight. <laughs> I can't see what they look like. Oh, at the very least, at the very least, I, I have the black helmet with me. Even though it only does one fucking defense. This is better than nothing, but still. Oh, <laughs> I weren't kidding. This difficulty is hard as balls. So I decided to grind down in the sewers. Unfortunately for me, I still died. Can I please kill the vermin? Why? <laughs> Why do they get to go first? Come on, dude! However, I knew I was on the right track to greatness just as long as I just grinded out just a little bit more. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixelove, Momentum Mori and whatnot, and I will see you guys in the next episode to continue this story. Take care, everybody.